Good morning. Day 17. Yes, day 16 on trail. Still have to count the fact that I took a day off. Not that that's wrong. But 17, 16, whatever. I slept like a bag of shit last night. I just had an idea that maybe today I will do a what I eat today video. I always like those videos watching what people munch way on on trail and whether or not they stop and cook and do whatever. So I'm starting off with this is half of a Udi's bagel. I just eat them plain. With this half an Udi's bagel, I will be taking a small amount of insulin for it. Because if I don't, I could be fucked up. Wonky Bridge is an optical illusion or something. It's super weird. Wonky Bridge. Oh yeah, it's wonky. Woo! Weird. Smell that water. Shoulder, fuck. Ugh. I'm eating the other half because it's been, I don't know, about an hour and uh, my blood sugar is stable. So it hasn't spiked up from the half a bagel. And I have a really steep road climb, which means my blood sugar will tank if I don't put something in it. So the other half. This road is so steep, and maybe I made an error in judgment this morning with the insulin. I took, save the glucose tablet, so that half a bagel won't kick right away. So I'm going to give it a little boost with glucose tablets. Look what I found. Canada's pretty awesome. It's a weed gummy! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it because it looks like it's been chomped away at, but I will pack it to the next garbage I find. I'm so glad this sign is here because it's a blow up to show you where I just walked from. Ignore my dirty finger. Up here. Up here. Look how tight those topple lines are. Fuck me. Well, it's been about two hours and I've done a bunch of climbing and I'm just checking my blood sugar. This is turning out to be like... So you could see where I started going down over here. And it turns out the... This it... The bagel is sustaining me. The insulin I took for the bagel was probably a little too much, but I was not aware of that crazy climb. Well, I was, but I didn't think it was going to be that hard. Hours, 
45 minutes. I've gone 9.2K and I want peanut butter, so I'm gonna have some. Also, I keep my peanut butter there because I can reach it. Peanut butter, glucose tablets, it's at the quick draw in an emergency because peanut butter is an emergency sometimes. Thoughts of a diabetic. I couldn't remember if I took my insulin this morning. My background all day insulin. I have a little sharpie in my bag and I put a dot on my finger because I forget. And then I sit around going, did I take it? Did I not take it? Should I take it? Should I not take it? What if I took it? Then I've got a double dose. Maybe I didn't take it and then I'm fucked for the rest of the day. I don't know. My um, continuous glucose monitor, I just scanned it. And blood sugar has been going up and up and up and it, it says 12.0 arrow up. And I'm like, oh shit, I definitely didn't take my insulin. And then I pulled out my glucose meter tested, 7.0. So another reason why the sensor is awesome, but completely untrustworthy, because if I had gone off the number on the sensor, I would have just taken a boatload of insulin and then not eaten because I'm actually quite hungry. And I took insulin anyway, because I would like to have a cashew cookie liver bar. I'm gonna wait maybe 15 minutes for that insulin just to start kicking in so that I don't spike and then go low. That's the name of the game with diabetes. It's just a whole lot of waiting. So this is what I'm gonna eat next. Look, in Canada, Tukstone is I was about to say. I'm at Metcalf Rock, which is familiar territory for me. I've done rock climbing up here before, and I really like the area. And there's water down there, you can camp here unofficially, officially. But I will not be camping here because I'm only at about 21 kilometers into the day. This is usually the part of my day where things just start getting off the rails, and this is. Legitimately, the first time that I've made an intentional stop for a break and to eat more than just a bar or Fritos. And I made some oatmeal. Part of the reason also, it'll force me to sit here and hopefully eat it, eat most of it, and I can rinse it off in the water because this kind of gets messy trying to clean it when you're dry camping and almost every stealth, not almost, every stealth night I've had has been dry camping, never near water. I was going to mention it's a popular place, there's a lot of people that keep walking by, but polarized. I'm about six hours in and 20, 22.22 kilometers. So what have I eaten today? A bagel, some glucose tablets, a Lara bar, and now I'm choking back oatmeal. Not very much. Should be eating a lot more than that. I do wonder, is Wendy the woman or the dog? Well, hidey ho, cows. But is this is this the cow watching platform? You guys gonna put on a show for me? 
I'm down with it. So far into the day in my first style. Style. Let's go with 25. Style 26 complete with a dirty towel. I already forgot what the last one was. 20. This 27? Style 27? Style 28 is at a commission. Fast and hard. This is style 29. Style number. I, I forgot what I just said. 30, I think. 30? I don't know why I can't hike and count at the same time. Especially with how many I've seen today. Style number 32. Style 33. Style 34. Style 35. Hello, style 36. Style 37, but I think I'm just gonna walk around it. Carpet matches the drapes. I don't generally pull the camera out at this time of day. And what time of day is it? Been hiking for eight and a half hours and I'm at 30K. And why don't I pull the camera out at this time of day? Because I'm usually head down in a bit of a death march. My whole body hurts, my feet hurt. I want to stop real bad. I came upon this wicked little spot. We have water. My legs are killing me. I probably could have kept going, but I took the opportunity to look around and actually squeeze my tent in a very tiny spot up there. I'll show it to you after, but maybe this will be my evening entertainment. Not a lot of available real estate. It's hard to tell, but I squeezed it in. I don't think I ever finished my everything that I ate today. So after that oatmeal, which I didn't finish, I had some nasty low blood sugar. Ate like maybe eight glucose tablets. It was a bad one. And then I sat on a bench and had some mouthfuls of Fritos. I probably ate peanut butter a couple more times, and that's it. I'm actually making some dinner tonight. I'm making one of my instant rice cold soak meals, but I'm gonna cook it. I like to put in a ton of water and make it like a rice soup. Reminds me of Thailand. And that'll probably be it. I don't know what the calorie count of that is, but it certainly doesn't balance out the some, I don't know, three or four thousand calories that I'm burning in a day. Maybe I'll have some chocolate later.